Hi, in this video, I would like to show you how you can use Fusion 360 and post processor for SCM Xilog Maestro. First, what we have to do is create setup. So we will create setup with a specific location of zero point, which must be every time on this point. Click OK, and we have setup prepared for our machining. Now we can apply the machining which we want first we start with uh, this bottom contour and uh, then we will continue with the planes. We can go to the 2D and select 2D contour. Select, to select tool. For example, this with 16 millimeter diameter and select contour which we want machine. We also set the multiple multiple depth parameter where we set, for example, 15 millimeters step down the step down. Set save distance. And we can accept this setting. And now we have the first operation. As a second step, we use face machining for this plane. Oh, again, 2D and face. For angle setting, we will use the tool, tool orientation with uh, Z and X. Z is this our face, and X will be this line. And as a stock selection, will be this geometry. We also select some top high, which will be five, for example. And we have our machining operation. We can check it, change it a little bit. Z and X, Z will be this, and X will be this. Now we will have a correct di direction. Yeah, that's fine. Now we will continue with the D's pocket the same way, but only with a different operation, which will be 2D pocket, tool direction, Z and X, click on face and select select the pocket. And let's continue with the calculator of our tool path. Last from the milling operation will be swarf function for this chamfer. So we will go to the multi-axis, use swarf. We select contour pairs. And firstly, we will select the geometry, the bottom geometry. We can see that uh, if we click on the geometry, we have uh, a fusion automatically select all chain for our closed geometry. This we can change by the second click on the geometry and select open contour. And then we can select the rest geometry, which we will need for our machining. Second step is this. Accept this solution. And let's calculate operation. Now we can continue with the drilling operation. So select the drilling. Select the drilling tool. Go to the geometry and select firstly top faced. By using select same diameter, it will automatically select the rest of our uh, rest of our holes in on this on this face. Click OK and we have our first drilling operation. Now we will continue with the plane drilling. 
same way as in the uh, mill milling operation. So ZNX, this, this, and select our holes. Okay. Again with the same settings. X and select the whole face. And this will be our last step. And click OK. Now we can simulate all machining inside the Fusion. So right click on the setup and go to the simulate. And now we have all part as a finished. So close and as last step will be generate our NC program for Xilog Maestro. So right click on the setup, go to the post process, select the correct post processor and there you have the user properties which you can use for a parameter inside the Maestro like a offset in X, Y and Z, machining field, vacuum camping, lifters and home position X and Y. Set program name and post the NC code. Now we will go to the Maestro and we will import this file to the Maestro in the section home using import and import PGM. We will select XXL file and select our XXL file and we will import it directly to the Maestro. It will automatically load our parameters from a Fusion so we can click OK. and we have our geometry inside the Maestro. We can save it as a PGMX for a simulation inside the, Fusion, inside the Maestro and we can simulate it directly inside Xilog Maestro. First operation, second operation, which was defined as a face. There is a pocket operation, svar function, and drilling. There will be plane drilling. second plane drilling and last operation.